Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. So we are, cont we are continuing with our Learn Blender 2.8 uh, series, tutorial series, and this is part three of uh, that series. Uh, so this time we are going to be creating something more interesting. Uh, we are going to be learning how to create a waving flag uh, using the cloth modifier or using the cloth. Uh, yeah, I think it's a modifier because it's also part of the modifier stack. Uh, if you can find it, if I can find it cloth yeah it's the first one there so to do that let's go to front view and then add a plane uh, you will see this pop-up menu are uh, this these options here are uh, in blender 2.79 uh, they were the options that came on the side here and uh, yeah basically they are the same uh, settings just now they're in a floating box so we can change this to align to view so that is facing us and uh, maybe we can uh, just push it down here uh, immediately if you move it or scale it in any way those uh, you will lose those settings uh, so make sure you 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 confirm those af after you have confirmed the settings you want uh, so yeah and basically what we want to do is uh, use this plane as our flag uh, that will be hanging on one side of a pole uh, so flags are always in a rectangular shape and this is a more like a square so let's scale this in the x direction uh, twice so what i did was hit s and then the direction i want to scale which is in the x direction and then times two to scale it twice in that direction and uh, we have this plane uh, which looks like a flag i think uh, maybe not not yet but uh, yeah we're quite getting there so let's move this maybe up a bit so that is a good distance from our ground and uh so to use a cloth modifier in Blender, uh, you can uh, you will find all the settings, all the physics settings in the last uh, tab here called the physics tab. And uh, you see you can ha we have co a soft body, fluid, uh, smoke, rigid body, rigid body constraints, uh, uh, force field, collision, co uh, cloth, and body and dynamic paint. Uh, what we want, wh what we are interested in is uh, the cloth uh, settings here. And uh, if we click on that, we shall be we shall have activated the cloth uh, physics for this particular selected object and now if we play back using this button here uh, this mesh will just fall down because uh, there is no other force force other than gravity acting on this uh, cloth uh, so now and uh, there is no flow for this to fall down uh, so let's add a flow for that for this so shift a add a plane uh, let's clear the the at the position by hitting Alt G and then scaling it uh, just so that we can see this clearly. We can move this plane above this grid. Uh, so let's get our transform tools and push this up around there uh, just so that we see this. Uh, we can go to the, sh the shading and turn on random colors so that so that we can have different colors for the flag and the flow. And um, uh, we can also turn on shadows and maybe cavity just to make it look beautiful uh, let me turn off these as well so okay so this is what we have and if we play back now although we have added a flow uh, the flag is still just falling through that uh, that's because we turned on at uh, the cloth modify the cloth a uh, physics for the plane but uh, we didn't turn on any physics for this that for our flow so it's it's not interacting uh, with uh, the flag yet so what we can do is go to the physics tab and then turn on collision uh, for this plane so that uh, so that it can collide with our flag now if we play back you can see it's still going through through the plane because uh, though we have turned on uh, physics for this uh, blender still has other uh, physics calculation for the for this cloth uh, in its cache so we need to clear that cache and uh, it's stored under, if you select the object, it's stored under, I think, uh, I think here, cache. And uh, we can free all baked cache. Or let me see. And uh, if we play back, let's see, shift space. Oh, it's still going through. Or the easiest way I found, if this doesn't work, you can just play back. There's two ways to play back. You can use this button or you can make sure the object is selected uh, or m just try moving the 
object or the 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 physics object uh, this in this case our flag just a bit maybe to the top like that just a bit and then try playing back again so this will clear any uh, calculation that blender has stored and then recalculate everything including the new uh, collision object so that's what we have but uh, this is not a very convincing flag because first of all it's just falling down and uh, we know flags are always hanged on uh, to something uh, so what we can do is uh, and uh, the other reason that why our flag is not behaving like a flag is that uh, we don't really have enough resolution uh, for this to behave like a real flag so if we go to edit mode uh, we need to add more a subdivision to this polygon uh, to or to this mesh so we can uh, add a loop here control r to add a loop just in the middle there and uh, now but still that is not enough resolution so we need to hit w on your keyboard and then subdivide you will get these options uh here so you can increase the number of subdivisions you want so let's say something like uh, five i want to show you how it will look with low resolution uh, compared to high resolution so that you can see why we need high resolution or more subdivision for this object uh, so let's go edit mode again uh, out of edit mode and playback so uh, maybe what i should have mentioned earlier is that uh, blender 2.8 is still in developer stage so they're still working on it and uh, there are still some bugs uh, that might come up uh, right now you see that uh, the cloth is just falling down like a plane a solid plane uh, but uh, cloth clothes don't really uh, operate like that or don't work like that so uh, if this is what is happening um try playing back and maybe moving this at an angle like this just to see how it will work. Maybe let's rotate this. So it's still buggy and uh, they, they don't really, clothes don't really work like, don't operate like that. Um, but uh, I think it will be improved on later. Uh, but it's still at a level where it can still do what we want with some tricking. Uh, so let's, so we need this flag to hang on a pole on one side on one end like this and be free on the other side uh, so the way we do this is by using what we call pinning uh, in blender so what we need is uh if we go to edit mode a set of vertices that we can hang that we can use that we can hang our flag onto uh, so uh and uh, if we go to the cloth uh, properties you will see under, let me see, under shape, uh, that option has been changed and it's been added under shape. So you will see this pin group uh, that lets you pin a group of, uh, use a set of vertices, a vertex group as the pinning points are for that flag. So, or for, for any cloth or whatever you're making. Uh, so we need to go and uh, into the object data for this property and create a set of vertices so you can see these are the uh, this is where the list of vertice vertex groups we create is listed so let's go to edit mode and select one and these two vertices and then add a new vertex group and then assign those vertex vertex group so the way vertex group is work is just is like saving a selection of the vertexes you have selected so if we deselect everything here so alt a will deselect deselect everything in previous versions of blender a selected everything and then uh, hitting a again will deselect everything again uh, but uh, in this version of blender it has been changed around and uh, now to select everything you s you hit a and to deselect everything you hit alt a so now that we have deselected everything we can select uh, the vertex group here to select the vertices in this group so if we select maybe if we make a selection of this group we can save this selection in a vertex group so we can create a new vertex group and then assign these selected vertices into that group so when we deselect everything and uh, select here you can see we select other vertices in that group so that's what we want uh, but uh, we want these 
let's first deselect then select we want these to be the pinning points so now we have now that we have created that a vertex group we can come in and uh, set it as the pin group for our flag so if we play back shift space you see our flag is hanging by that pole so if we, we can try moving this around and see just to activate that cloth uh, because blender right now is a bit buggy sometimes things may not work as they're supposed to but uh, let's first save this project let's see i just save it on the desktop and maybe let me try reopening a blender to see if uh, that bug will have cleared because sometimes if you do that okay uh, that's why you don't want to use a <coughs> an application that is in alpha that is still being developed because you'll always run into that now blender doesn't open up it's just crashing so let's try opening up it so okay maybe with if we work open it directly from there it works so i still have the same problem uh, let's see if we can uh, if we add a force field so shift a so a force field is a force field is just a force that wa that op uh, that yeah that i don't know how to explain it that uh, affects the objects in the scene so let's add a wind to blow the flag and see if that will help so 90 degrees rotate 90 degrees So we have our force field. If we play back, there isn't that much effect. So we need to go to this force field in the physics tab and uh, increase uh, the strength. Maybe let's try 500. And uh, let's bring this closer to the flag. And maybe let's try let's try something quite. So, shift this. See, it's worthy. Ah, okay, so just by selecting that and uh, dragging it a bit, I, it, I think. Okay. So, so yeah, Blender is still buggy right now, and that's why things are not working exactly. So let's try reducing this to a thousand. Playing back, so you see think the wind is too much every time you see some kind of bug uh, you can just move the flag a bit or the object a bit uh, and uh, things will look much better so uh, let's turn on uh, uh, smooth shading for this object so uh, that option was around uh, the panel that was on this side uh, but now it's under object uh, then smooth shading so I think that is too much wind so we can reduce it to maybe 500 and move the flag a bit then play back so the resolution is still low so we can come in to edit mode select everything subdivide subdivide and uh, let's play back again I think that is much better see now it's a wavy flag but uh, if you look closely uh, it's like uh, this cloth is intersecting with itself so if we remove the pinning so where is the pinning play back make sure you move the object and uh, let's switch off this by turning the strength to zero to zero play back you see by the way, that's how it is supposed to behave without any wind uh, operating on it. So the last time it was a bug that was affecting it. So let's play back. See, you see, this cloth is intersecting with itself. So to avoid that, we can go to the cloth settings and uh, turn on 
self collision so if i can find it under cloth in the physics tab i can find collision and uh, self collision now if we play back again let me make sure to turn this off you see it's now not going through itself so let's come back and turn on pinning again shape pinning playback see it's just falling like that like a how flag would behave by the way you're not only limited to one uh, group you can change to the second group we added just to see how this is supposed to behave if it's buggy just move it a bit you can see maybe you can do a, ha a towel hanging on something on something uh, so again if it's buggy you just move it a bit and uh, we have that so let's switch back to our original pin group and then turn on our wind so to five i think 500 was good was good wind and then let's play back shift space and let's increase maybe the noise to give our wind some kind of variation and shift space So now that we have that, uh, you can come and uh, unwrap this object. So now, instead of just subdividing this and turning this into a UV editor, we have uh, a set of panels here uh, that we can turn to for different uh, things we are doing. Now, if we are going to un UV unwrapping, we can just switch to uh, this tab here to do the UV unwrapping. And I th yeah, let's alt you. Control Let's hit you to unwrap. Uh, we need to apply the scale. And then you. So we have this. Yeah, let's scale this, scale this down a bit to something like that. And let's go to shading. And uh, I want to give this a texture. So let's give it a new material. I think most things here are still working like uh, how they worked in the previous version. And uh, for the material, I'll just use uh, this image. It's basically a thumbnail image I had for my previous live stream. Uh, so I'll just use that instead of creating a flag in Photoshop or finding some flag. Uh, I'll just connect this to the base cover and uh, hit control t no actually hit go to the i think it's called uh, is it vector vector mapping vector is mapping connect this node uh, to that node and uh, we need another input i think it's called geometry no uh, it's not geometry I usually use, uh, as it called, I use an add-on for this. Uh, the I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, to do these things for me, so I don't really remember. We had to find some of these nodes. Uh, so uh, bear with me here. I think it's called node vector. It's supposed to be an input geometry let's just text the connect coordinates so and then connect the UV to vector and so that uh, the mapping you have here is from the UV editor so now uh, we can use this image here and I think we can turn from uh, we can change this shading the shading here to textured so that we can see preview the texture here if we go to edit mode and we should be we should still be able to preview this here 
Uh, I'm not sure, maybe that's still a feature they're working on. So we can uh, scale this in the y direction so that our flag fits uh, the image like that. Now, if we go to, was it layout? Yeah, I think layout and make sure we are in textured mode and uh, playback, shift space. Uh, that's our flag waving. Shift space. So if you want, you can uh, even animate Make let's go to wireframe. Let's just let's see. Let's see solid. A turn off, turn back to random. I don't know why I'm s only seeing rendered version, so let's see. Okay. Obviously, I'm still also figuring out these things. Uh, I don't know why, why I can't see uh, the wind, so I'll just find it here in the scene object. So this is the force field uh, that we want. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Random world, turn of x ray, outline, cavity shapes. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do is animate uh, this wind in different directions so that we can. Let's just do it without even seeing that. Let's different directions so that the wind the flag shows that uh, it is blowing in random directions like no more wind does so let's play back shift space and you can see now if we turn this to textured and we just you you would just model a pole here and uh, have the flag waving directly on the pole. Yeah, so that's how you make a waving flag uh, in Blender 2.8. Uh, obviously, this is still in, de in developer phase, so you will encounter a lot of uh, bugs like you saw we did. Uh, so one of the bugs you definitely going to encounter, let me first create a new scene here, is this bug, rotate eight, eight degrees, up in the z direction, scale in the y, let's add subdivisions, lots of subdivisions, uh, where you apply, give it the cloth, and play back, and play back, let's add a plane, let's change this to random, where you add a plane, give it a collision, a uh, collision pro property, and when you play back, nothing happens, it's, it just goes through, I don't know if this has to do with catcher or it's just a bug. So when you encounter that, I just move uh, the the object, uh, the cloth object, just a bit to clear the catcher. And then now when you play back, it will just fall directly like that. Uh, the other bug we saw is that uh, uh, it was just falling directly down without doing what it's doing here, uh, without folding like uh like a plane like a cloth wood i think that had to do with how much resolution we had in the plane uh but it's still i think a bug it doesn't matter how much resolution we had uh this shouldn't have fell directly just like that so i think if you have small resolution it will just bounce like that but uh it shouldn't because in uh, Blender 2.9, if we do the same thing, so let's add a plane, uh, add another one, rotate 90 degrees, 
subdivide just like that make this a collision object and make this a closed object and if we play back huh, let's see I guess it's not a bug because this is also doing the same the same thing uh, let's subdivide this more and see shift shift oh I'm forgetting the shortcut so this is just alt a to play back yeah so I think that will that had to do with that the resolution we had for the flag but basically that's how you do it uh, if you found this useful make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video